Hiya. Yeah. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a Hinsta. And if you are new here, then please do consider subscribing and hitting the thumbs up button if you enjoy the reading, if you take something from this reading. Um, my original subscribers might know that I used to do tarot readings at the very beginning uh, of my little YouTube channel. And I'm going to continue doing that moving forward. So the tarot readings are coming back. And this one, as you can see in the title, is for Scorpio. And that can be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising, Scorpio uh, Moon, anyone who is prominently Scorpionic in uh, their birth chart, astrologically. And also any cross watchers. I do welcome cross watchers as well. So if you have a Scorpio on your mind, um, then this reading might be for you. And the sort of topic is, will we reconnect? So if you have someone on your mind, that can be a twin flame, that can be um, a romance, love interest, it can be a family member, a friend, a business partner, whoever it is that's on your mind. When you saw this title, uh, will we reconnect? Uh, that is who this reading is going to be about. Now, also, if you would like a reading with me, uh, you can look in the description below later for more details, or, or you can go to hinihai.com right away and book a reading. I am quite fully booked this weekend, but I do have a couple slots next week. Um, and if you are a Scorpio, today only you get 20% off all of my services, 20% off all my services if you are a Scorpio. This is the last day of Scorpio season. So that's the last day that I make that offer for Scorpio. So do get in touch today if you want to take advantage of that. But without further ado, let us get into your reading, Scorpio. So I called my spirit guides before this reading, uh, as I do before I hit the go live button. Um, and the first card that we're going to get is going to be you. Scorpio. And this is going to be you right now, your energy right now. So can we please get a card for Scorpio right now? Universe, spirit, please give us a card for Scorpio right now. Um, let me actually just raise the screen a little bit so you can see um, this is my first time doing this like this so <laughs> bear with this please okay wow <laughs> the card to come out uh, to represent you is the father of cups Scorpio which is often your card father of cups you can see this is the black swan this is cups this is water so this is you my love Scorpio, you are in this position of true feeling, in this position of true desire, true intuition. And maybe a lot of you are having right now to be in the depths or revisit the depths of your emotions when it comes to the person that you're thinking of. But I see that most of you watching uh, for this reading, you are positively going to be pursuing or dealing with truth um, and, and basically truly, I think, communicating honestly as well, communicating your feelings with this person if there is this reconnection. So if you do reconnect, I feel like you are going to be very um, honest, pure and true. And probably this is how you are feeling now, Scorpio. So let's now get cards for your person. Wow. Oh, wow. Another. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Another Scorpio card comes out. The Eight of Pentacles with the Justice card, Major Arcana card. But these cards that I'm going to pull now are about your person, Scorpio, and the surrounding sort of swirling energies, Um that your person has right now, and also the energies between you and that person. And we have the Eight of Pentacles coming out with the Justice card. 
you, Scorpio, yeah, you are having, I can see this already, you're having to be extremely patient with this person. There might be for some of you something that you are waiting to hear yourself before you reach out. Maybe some of you haven't reached out yet to this person, but there's this sense of waiting for some moment. There's a justice card. You are waiting to reach a decision, I think. Others of you are waiting extremely patiently to hear back from this person. And it does have a lot to do with um, karma. And the justice card here is saying that you are having to brace yourself karmically for the response or no response from this person if you have reached out. Um, so, you know, be prepared. I think you are as a Scorpio and especially with the Father of Cups coming out, out right now, you are uh, prepared for sometimes the brutality of, of a non-response or even of a response. Um, so I, th I feel like you're prepared. Maybe if you've asked this person a question, you're also prepared to hear the opposite of what you ideally would want. Some of you are prepared to hear no when you want to hear yes, for example. Um, so I do feel like you are aware, highly tuned to, like the spider in this Eight of Pentacles card. You're highly tuned, attuned to um, the way that the universe is working right now. And I feel like a lot of you have done a lot of purging emotionally, um, a lot of inner exploration of your truth, if that resonates for you. And so, yeah, you are ready for whatever um, answer is coming or for whatever this reconnection might bring for the good, bad or the ugly, as I often say. But let's get some more. Ooh. Some more cards and they've flown out. We've got four cards flying out. We have, wow, Father of Swords, Five of Swords, Major Arcana, Star card, and the Seven of Wands, my love, Scorpio. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, let me bring it up a little bit. Um, do say hello if you're in the live chat, by the way. I won't be looking at the chat while I do the reading, but I will respond at the end if you have any questions or comments. Um, <laughs> stay. Please, Scorpio, stay. Uh, look, it's right. The Father of Swords is coming right after the Justice card. So please stay, Scorpio, um, with that rationality, a fixed rationality of knowing that if you're waiting for a response from this person, that the ball is in their court. Um, others of you who are thinking karmically, you're thinking about the karma, maybe, um, oh, sorry, the other, this other person is doing a lot of waiting because they feel like something is just here. They feel like something is just, and they are in a mindset of, um, well, I'm not going to respond or I don't want to reciprocate. I don't want to reconnect with this person because of what they did to me and what I've had to do to reconnect uh, with others or myself or rebuild. Uh, and the work I've had to do, Eight of Pentacles on myself in the aftermath, This, if this is like a twin flame, uh, that sort of twin flames that parted or family members who had disputes or best friends that had a tiff or something like that, that per this person... Scorpio could be in this uh, mindset of like a, a stubborn mindset, basically with the father of swords. And they are feeling very um, strong about it, uh, thinking very strongly about it. And they could even be thinking arrogantly, some, uh, some of them. And yeah, we have the five of swords that follows right after it. There is this, and it's under the eight of pentacles, this five of swords, my love Scorpio. And so they could even be poised or getting ready uh, or deciding on whether or not they um, are going to have an argument with you <laughs> um, or engage with you because they might feel like it's just going to end up in some sort of argument. Um, or they have maybe, maybe um, they feel like they are a winner in some, in some way or they were the winner 
uh, or they were the loser and now they're the winner. So there might be this sort of thing coming through. Um, this might be you as well, Scorpio. Like you might be feeling uh, sort of triumphant and a bit sort of like that's what you get, that's what you deserve with, when you're thinking of this person. And so th you might not reconnect right now um, or, or at all for some of you because of this feeling of winners and losers. And then we have the star. So your person, Scorpio, they could easily be an Aquarius <laughs> or someone very Aquarian. They could easily be someone who is really just trying to detach as best as they can from this connection. They are isolating themselves. Um, they might also feel like they've somehow got what they wanted. Maybe they wished something um, to, toward you or about you and they got what they wanted and you reaching out to them is showing them perhaps that their wish is being granted. Um, but others that you are hoping to reconnect with, for some of you, they, um, they've actually been waiting. <laughs> They've been waiting for karma to sort of uh, work its magic, if you like. Um, and they've been waiting and they've been possibly obsessing with the father of swords here, possibly obsessing over whether or not you would approach them, uh, reach out to them, Scorpio. And uh, because you have reached out to them or because you're going to, they do feel like a wish has um, been fulfilled. Their wish is granted. And then we have the seven of wands that came out as well. And this could be a message for you, Scorpio, to keep hope, <laughs> especially if you resonate with this message of them feeling triumphant somehow. Sorry, let me just have a sip of tea. <clears throat> something might be difficult for you to say, Scorpio, to this person. And you need to keep the faith, keep the hope. If this is like a twin flame situation or a romance situation, you need to keep that fire burning and try to ignore any naysayers around you who... I uh, want to give you this impression of, no, you could never possibly reconnect with that person or there's no chance. Um, try to block that out. If this is a true twin flame connection, block it out. And, and however you can, keep uh, the fire burning. Keep the hope, basically, with the seven of wands. Keep the hope, um, especially if you lost in some sort of argument or dispute or relationship uh, coming under the five of swords, and then the eight of pentacles with the justice card. Keep the hope that you can be redeemed, Scorpio, if um, you've been doing this work, this father of cups, true, honest, uh, deep, internal work. Let's now get another couple cards for you uh, to get some more uh, insight on your person, Scorpio. But I feel like for a lot of you, there's this big element of waiting game or game, <laughs> you know, winners and losers and a lot of fixation and stubbornness, perhaps, uh, whether that's you and or your person. Um, but I do see you with the Father of Cups here in the center. This is you, right? I see you being very true, um, very honest about how you feel. Okay, 10 of wands coming after the seven of wands. Yeah, it's not gonna be, <sighs> yes, Scorpio. Some of you have a lot <laughs> um, on your plate, a lot on your plate. And it is a result again, and you know it's a result, but it's a result of karma. This justice card here again, it's a result of what, you've been dealt. Um, 
But what this 10 after the seven of swords is telling me is that if you keep this hope, if you try to keep this twin flame connection going, burning Scorpio, then you will reach a point where there are uh, options for you and this person. I feel like you are going to um, reconnect as so long as you stay true and pure and honest. Um, others of you, you are going to just uh, sort of give up and you are going to just sort of um, feel more burdened and the flame does go out for some of you and you move on. It's the end of the this uh, all this passion that you've been putting into this connection. So for some of you, there is an ending of this connection because you've had enough. It's too um, strenuous, so there's too much uh, fighting, okay? Um, and the sort of hope is lost for some of you. Um, but let's get one more card for this spread. I do nine cards usually in my spreads. So let's finish this off for you, Scorpio. Again, if you're watching live, feel free to leave a comment in the stream and I'll try to get back to you at the end after the fact. And subscribe and like if you uh, resonate with the reading. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Pentacles coming out. So for some of you, Scorpio, your person is, they have a lot of something coming in, um, a lot more stability for themselves. They are winning in some financial sense, maybe. Um, and I feel like they are focusing more on that. They want to focus more on their finances, their stability. Um, and if you truly love them, uh, you might really be taking this time to let them focus on that. So you might not be trying to fight so much. Uh, to force a connection or a reconnection, you might be giving them some time to um, be successful financially, materially. Um, for some of you, your person is uh, trying to trying to get a win, <laughs> trying to get a win, and this could be you know to do with like trying to find a new place to stay, or they're trying to um, get a job, or they're trying to. Um, this could even have to do with logic. They're trying to think more straight. They're trying to um, think more solidly. And that I think is what might connect to this 10 of wands and that might be them. They're so burdened um, that they don't, like they're not even focusing on this sort of connection uh, or this like, you definitely have a twin flame connection, some of you, but they are not, um, it's too much for some of the, for some of you, your people, <laughs> it's too much. And they need to get out of something and they need to get this win that they actually feel is coming. They feel a win is coming for themselves. Um, and I feel like, again, those of you who uh, look at the father of cups, Swan, looking at this star, this has a, for me, energy of needing to pour out the water, the emotions, needing to let someone go in order to free them or let them focus on something else um, or in some other way for the moment um, so that they can get some wish themselves granted. And they are possibly with this column here, Father of Swords, the Star and the Ace of Pentacles, they are possibly really mentally focusing on something and they've really made up their mind about something and there's not really any way to change them for some of you. Um, so even if you do reconnect for some of you, there's this sense I think of you get a true, a really true <laughs> pure answer, which might not be the ideal answer, but you start to see that there's something they're hoping to attain for themselves that has to do with the material probably or the financial and then you hopefully uh, understand that or you you anyway let, release them or you you have some sort of break or there's some sort of um, delay or distance that goes on a bit longer. Um, and for some of you, it's ended completely, especially with the seven. Uh, 
of wands going to the 10 of wands. It's just ended completely this uh, connection, but it's for the best. And this ace of pentacles, of course, can speak to you a little bit. You know, you too will win um, in terms of something coming in. Um, whatever this ace of pentacles thing is that you might be looking for, it could be financial, you also getting back on track financially or practically. Um, okay, Scorpius, so that's gonna be your reading. Um, and will you reconnect with this person? I hope you found it helpful. You can um, contact me at hinihai.com, go to my website and see my services if you would like uh, an extended reading. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Love you. Take care.